To say that 2017 was a bad year for the American public would be a very gross understatement at this point. Right at the end of the year, the Republicans decided to pass their disastrous tax cut package, which cuts a lot of uh, social programs for needy Americans in order to give the millionaires and billionaires of this country a $1.5 trillion tax cut. Republicans, the Republicans who supported this legislation, which is almost all of them in Washington, DC, sold you out. They sold out the entire American public because they know this is going to create a a disaster for the economy. It's probably going to lead us into a recession because tax cuts like this have led us into recessions every single time they've ever happened, but they did it. Even knowing that you're going to lose your health insurance, you're going to lose your Medicaid, you're going to cut back on Medicare. You could even lose your social security at this point based on their current plans. But again, they did it because they wanted to give their donors a tax break. They sold you out for campaign money. This year, we're in 2018 now. And we all know what happens in 2018. We have midterm elections in November. So we're 10 months away from being able to send Republicans a message. And that message is, you sold us out because you feared your donors. Or more importantly, you feared Donald Trump more than you feared your voters, the people who put you in office in the first place. We control your future. We control your destiny. Yet you decided to bow down at the altar of Trump, at the altar of big money, because you were more afraid of what he would do to you than what the voters would do to you at the voting booth. This year in 10 months, we have the opportunity to show them that they made the wrong decision. We have the opportunity to show them that we are more powerful than the people who write the checks. And we are. And if you think that we're not, then you're part of the problem. If we show up in the numbers, we can change things in this country. We just saw it happen in the state of Alabama. Do you know why Doug Jones won? It wasn't because Roy Moore got busted for diddling kids. It's because people showed up, specifically African-American women. They swayed that election because they got out there. If we do that again, and even the most gerrymandered parts of this country, we could still make a difference and send a message to those idiotic, cowardly Republicans who sold us all out and tell them one more time, we are the powerful people in this country. It's not the people who write your checks. It's not that little orange Cheeto sitting in the Oval Office. It is us. It is the people on the street, the people who go to work every day, the people who are out there busting our asses to make life livable for the rest of you. We're the ones who hold the power. And in November of 2018, we've got the opportunity to show Republicans exactly that. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see here on Ring of Fire, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Um, You can see the little subscribe button down there, but if you're watching it on another device where you can't see it, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire, hit subscribe, be notified every time we get a new video.